So who's got the best looking car? Well, that debate can go on forever. But who's got the fastest four wheels? Well, that'll be over way too quick. Now of the Navarra, D-Max, Hilux, and Ranger, who's got the best pickup truck? Comparo. Let's go! Global conflicts use them as personal and equipment transport. Farmers use them to haul raw products from tilling fields, and on occasion, they were used to smuggle immigrants across borders. Although they were practically butt naked, pickup trucks weren't exactly the sexiest things on the planet. Today, however, it's a completely different story. Thrust into the limelight, they can provide spectacular entertainment meters in the air, shelter from the hustle and bustle of the city alone or with a brood, and ply every inch of paved road inside the city as a daily driver. Now back in 2019, the Philippines saw car sales reach over 400,000 units, 16% of which were pickups. That was an average of one in every six new cars on the road. Now globally, over a million were sold in 2020. Three quarters of that were in the US alone, where Toyota and Ford have been dominating. Ford's trucks have been the number one in the world for the past five years, and the F-Series killing it at number one in the US for the last 39 years. Nissan and Isuzu know this very well, and part of my French, but they ain't f***ing around. They want to go head to head. So the top spot in today's Comparo categories will pick up four, and the last guy will pick up one. The classifications are power and fuel efficiency, tech safety and interior, ride comfort, payload, and then price. Now the very last category, its overall looks, just might determine our Comparo winner depending on the scores. Now this is where we asked every Juan on our Facebook page to chime in with their votes. Autodeal.com.ph can connect you to get the best quote from multiple dealerships near you. You can request and compare quotes from any dealership in the Philippines. Get the best deal with Autodeal. Now I know this category reads more like an oxymoron, much like to be clearly confused, or Manila traffic management, but these are the questions that are raised to clamor from consumers. Oh, and to be very clear, everybody here is packing a four-cylinder diesel. Got it? Let's continue. The Fuego's cousin has a three-liter blue power engine, which churns out a healthy 187 horses and 450 newton meters of torque, paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. Now, it boasts 17 outside, but inside the city, it does about a hair better than nine kilometers per liter. The last truck we drove out of town has a smaller 2.5 liter but produces the same 187 horses and 450 newton meters of torque and bests the previous with a 7 speed automatic transmission. It expectedly does better with fuel, with just an eyelash under 10 kilometers per liter inside the city. A smaller displacement still sitting on the T6 platform is a 2 liter bi turbo that muscles out 210 horses and 500 newton meters of torque mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Sadly, it got around 9 kilometers per liter in the city, even with those legs. The King of the Desert is available with a 2.8 liter turbo furnished with 201 horses, which is very close to the Ranger, and an equal 500 newton meters of torque on a six speed automatic transmission. Efficiency wise, though, we were getting a bit above 8 kilometers per liter inside the city. You can look at it any which way you want, but the numbers don't lie, which is why the Navara, sitting on the mean average of power and torque while returning 10 kilometers per liter inside the city, gets all four points and the rest fall in line. They may not go like a bat out of hell at first, but the technology and safety inside these pickup trucks are just as important as any other vehicle on the road. Brutes as we want them to be off the beaten path, there's also points given to those that can do it with style. With alerts on the tad sensitive side, the D-Max is rich with driver aids and the largest of these four infotainment screens at 10.1 inches. It's full of supple and interesting cowhide, wrapping nearly every surface that you will touch, sans the few scratch magnets and plastics on the dash that really disappear well. An interior that certainly leaves the previous generation in the dust. With eyes, literally, at the back and sides of its head, the tech and safety of the Navara is all that and then some. It comes with an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a steering wheel manicured like an object of power. It's dressed in a familiar formula that has worked for previous models over the years, coupled with ergonomic seats that even rear passengers will appreciate. And trust me, I know. As one of the most tech-packed pickup trucks available in the Philippines, the Ranger comes with a plethora of features that make the rig easier to drive and safer as well. 
It also comes with an 8-inch infotainment system that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. Leather is also present with the vehicle's interior that keeps you in your comfort zone, no matter where you are, for work or for play. Interestingly enough, no leather here. All gung-ho cloth and durable plastics to match, the Hilux seems to keep an arm's length away from the plush, relying on durability and brand recognition stamping its authority as a roughneck. A standard cabin is met with enough tech to keep it trotting along amidst the would-be successors. This one was a tough call, and that's no bull. We were going back and forth on this particular category, but ultimately, because of its gorgeous cabin and huge infotainment system, the D-Max edges out with its slew of driver tech, safety standards, and awesome interior. Now, the Navara doesn't fall far behind because of its 360-degree camera, but we will argue that you will use this feature more than the adaptive cruise, so it makes up for its rather plain interior. And just like that, the Navara shares top spot with the D-Max. The Hilux and the Ranger behind by just a few points. Early in the game though, still very much any truck's game. Now this category is where it gets a bit tricky. See, people want a sturdy vehicle when they purchase a pickup truck. They want it to be able to take a hit and keep on ticking. But that comes with a rigid ride, and that can get old really, really quick, especially inside the city. Now having driven them all, I can summarize them in this manner. While we were impressed on better roads upon meeting the D-Max, it was on less forgiving roads that we noticed a chink in its armor. Not to say it didn't exude reliability, but we were shaken up, so to speak. Taller drivers may also notice the back of their knees unsupported. On much longer drives, yeah, that might be an issue. Having driven it hundreds of kilometers on Philippine roads as well as Jabba's backyard, the Navara is no doubt a comfortable car. Driver, passenger, even rear passengers sit ergonomically well without much tax on the body, whether in a straight line or pushing it deep in kitty litter. I don't want to say old man, but rather the eldest of the group still has the lightest steering of them all, which is just great getting around the city. Potholes will still rattle you nonetheless, but the ease of getting away from them in a cabin so rich is absolutely satisfying. Now, we don't know if it was the Hilux's reputation for a bouncy ride, but we were honestly surprised by the Conquest variant of the pickup. It wasn't that plush, yes, but it wasn't as bumpy as we were expecting. Drove it back to back against the G variant, and that felt like a rickety workhorse. The new Conquest, though, up a few points in ride refinement and a surprisingly quiet cabin. So with that being said, these are still pickup trucks, but the winner of the category rides least like a pickup truck, and it has done so since its introduction in 2015 here in the Philippines. The winner of this category is the Navara. Coils spring it forward and into the lead with twin digits. The Ranger's relatively yielding ride on a firm chassis allow it to edge closer to the D-Max, trailing by just a mere point heading into the second half of our Comparo. To find a truck that can drive relatively smoothly and yet carry the weight of a water buffalo is no easy task. It's difficult, but it's possible. Now, these rigs may not have the finesse of a crossover, but they are definitely as honest as the sweat on a man's brow after a day in the field. Shaken or not, the D-Max can carry more than a thousand kilos of payload, and the liner protects your bed from most anything you chuck in there. On paper, the Navara has a payload capacity of 1,017 kilograms. However, Nissan Philippines has stated that it can carry up to 1,100 kilograms, even on coil springs, which makes it all the more impressive. When it comes to carrying heavy loads, the Ford Ranger comes with a payload capacity of 1,121 kilograms, which earns it the Ford Build Tough tagline. The Hilux, meanwhile, still has a respectable tonnage at max payload capacity of 1,000 kilograms. While the main factor was the actual payload, we also took into consideration the volume of cargo. See, we figured not everybody will max out the amount of weight that it can carry as much as the amount of things that you can carry. And with that, the Ranger bests the category, carrying north of 1,100 kilograms with a bed volume of 1,065 liters, giving the D-Max a taste of its own medicine, leading it by a single point. While both eat their way to clean air, they slowly close the gap to the Navara, which is in by no means in the clear, heading into the final stages of the competition. The largest deciding factor when buying a new vehicle, it's price. These are not our opinion. It's not like a referee's call. It's not controversial at all. These are the facts. Excluding special color options in its price, the most expensive top-of-the-line pickup of the bunch is the Nissan Navara, coming in at 1,849,000 Philippine pesos. Now, more affordable is the Hilux at 1,830,000 Philippine pesos, but you are going to have to skip out on the emotional red color to keep it at this price. 
Next in line is the D-Max at 1,825,000 Philippine pesos for the rig that leaves its previous self in the dust. Now, the most affordable top-of-the-line rig from the four we have here today is the Ranger at 1,728,000 Philippine pesos. No debates here, just the facts. Sure, it's the eldest and a successor is imminent, but all that tech and a buy turbo for that price makes for a clear winner in this category. So, the D-Max finds itself just two points behind and is in perfect striking distance of the Navara, the young gun holding the lead all throughout. The Ranger, however, a bit older as we said, started slow, now draws dead even with the leader at the end of regulation. So here's a quick recap of where we are just before we go into overtime. The Navara is up top having taken the power and fuel efficiency and ride comfort categories. It's also got company because the Ranger is even on points, having taken the payload and price categories. The D-Max is just two points away, having bagged the tech safety and interior category. And although its ancestors were basically indestructible, the Hilux looks to have taken a slow and steady pace down to our very last category and we left it up to you guys. The power was in your hands where you guys voted for the best looking truck. Made available to our more than 600,000 followers over a span of three days, we were able to get over 6,000 votes via our Facebook page. And you voted? The Navara to the top spot, leading the rest with the best exterior looks by over a thousand votes, securing four points and cementing it as our pickup Comparo winner for 2021. Now we know we did not factor in reliability into our Comparo. Well, truth be told, it's like our reviews, only time will tell how these babies will actually perform out in the open road. And also, well, everybody drives their pickup trucks in a very different manner after all. Written review specs and prices are available for all of these pickup trucks as well as all their variants on autodeal.com.ph as well as a buy online function that will blow you away. If you like this video, do consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon.